what is cancer? In the same way that a building is constructed from bricks and stones, cells are the building blocks of every living being. The human body is made from millions of cells. Groups of cells combine together to make organs. And a group of organs make and run the human body. The genetic code or the DNA of each cell guides cell division in our body. The DNA is the set of instructions that tell the cell what to do and how to do it. It is like the software of a computer. The cells in our body are constantly dividing to form new cells in order to replace the old cells and for the body to grow. Normally, one cell divides a certain number of times and then it dies and is naturally replaced. This process is very controlled. Sometimes, because of a defective genetic code, an abnormal cell is created. This abnormal cell divides without control and does not function normally. These abnormal cells are called cancerous cells. When cancerous cells invade an organ, it stops functioning properly. Because the human body is made up of different organs, which are all interconnected, when one organ does not function normally, it affects the functioning of the entire body. Primary cancer is where the cancer starts. If some of the cancer cells break away from the primary cancer site and spread by entering the bloodstream or the lymphatic system and settle in another part of the body, this cancer is called a secondary cancer or metastatic cancer. The Causes of Cancer In adults, cancer can be attributed to certain factors. For example, smoking causes lung cancer and chewing tobacco causes oral cancer. Cancer can also be caused by exposure to certain chemicals used in manufacturing or carcinogens such as radioactive materials. We do not know the cause of cancer in children. Because the organs in a child's body grow rapidly, there is a greater chance of the multiplication of defective cells and this may lead to cancer. Cancer can affect any part of the child's body. Children who have cancer should work and play with normal children. Cancer is not infectious and does not spread by person-to-person -person contact. It does not spread by touching, sitting with, sharing food or working together with someone who has cancer. How many types of cancer are there? There are two types of cancers, blood cancer and solid tumours. Blood cancer Leukaemia is one type of blood cancer where the white blood cells in the bone marrow divide very quickly. The bone marrow gets so clogged with unhealthy blood cells that there is no room for healthy blood cells to grow. The other type of blood cancer is called lymphoma, where the white blood cells in the lymph nodes divide very quickly. Solid tumours In this, the cancerous cells clump together and form a lump, which is called a tumour. Tumours can grow in any part of the body and tend to destroy the surrounding healthy organs. Sometimes, tumours are non-cancerous or benign, meaning they are harmless. Malignant or cancerous tumours can be dangerous and need to be treated. How do you treat cancer? The type of treatment used depends on the type of cancer the child has. Every child's treatment is different and is decided upon by the doctor. Surgery is used for the removal of malignant solid tumours. A doctor physically removes the tumour and surrounding tissue via an operation. In chemotherapy, medical drugs are given to the child orally by injection or intravenously. This medicine travels through the bloodstream and destroys cancerous cells. In radiation therapy, High-energy invisible rays from a machine are used to destroy cancer cells in a particular area of the body. Please ask your doctor's advice before trying any other treatment than what is prescribed. These alternative treatments can be dangerous for your child. 
How to deal with cancer? When your child is diagnosed with cancer, the most important thing is to remain hopeful and positive. Be normal. Do not discuss the child's illness and your worries all the time. This passes on the anxiety to the child. Conducting your day-to-day -day activities normally will bring stability to the child's life. Talk. If the child is old enough to understand, it is good to tell the child about the illness and that the treatment will make him better. Let the child ask questions. If you need to talk or simply need reassurance, please talk to the doctors or our trained counsellors. Do not hide your anxiety. Keep the mind active. Encourage the child to use the free time to read, sing, draw, play games and solve puzzles. All this will keep the child's brain stimulated and active. Keep the body active. If the child is feeling well, let the child play outdoors in a clean, crowd and dust-free environment and get some fresh air. Be flexible. During treatment on some days, the child will not feel well and may not want to eat. Offer and encourage small, frequent meals that the child likes. Allow the child to rest or play and take a break from routine activities. Show affection. It shows the child that you care. Children need reassurance when faced with new and difficult situations. Pray and sing. Often, it helps to maintain positive energy and release stress if you pray or sing together as a family. Stay in touch. Continue to keep in touch with the rest of the family, especially other children back home. They need your time too. Remain hopeful. It is a very difficult time when your child is diagnosed with cancer. But the good news is that, if detected early and treated appropriately, childhood cancer has a high rate of cure. After the onset of treatment, if your child is cancer-free for five years, then the possibility of the cancer recurring is rare. After cancer treatment, children can lead a normal life and can study and work. Once they are adults, they can marry and have children. You will be happy to know that after treatment, millions of children are free from cancer and leading normal lives. This video has been brought to you by St. Jude India Child Care Centres and Tata Memorial Hospital.